Hi, my name's Allison. I specialize in customized oncology nutrition, and this is support if you want to prevent or conquer cancer. This recipe is my non-dairy coffee creamer. You can also use it for tea or hot chocolate and any recipe that calls for cream. I developed this recipe because I found out that I had the LCT gene, which doesn't enable me to process dairy. So let's have at it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna separate our eggs. This recipe calls for raw eggs. So you can sterilize raw eggs if you put them in 140 to 142 degree water for three to five minutes. All right, so now we're gonna take those yolks and we're gonna put them in the blender. And then I'm just gonna add a little pinch of salt, just a tiny amount, like so. Then I'm gonna measure out um, one cup of filtered water, but I'm just gonna pour about a fourth of it into the blender. Then it's gonna make a lot of noise. And I just wanna have that run for about a minute or so. And that just kind of warms up the water and warms up the eggs to be able to accept the fat. So we have three egg yolks, a pinch of salt. Now I'm putting in a half a cup of algae oil and I'm gonna dribble that in slowly. And you can use any kind of keto fat that is right for your DNA. What I like to use is either the high oleic sunflower oil or the algae oil because I find that these have the most neutral flavor do not use regular sunflower oil, very inflammatory. So now I'm putting in a half cup of sunflower oil. You could do all algae oil or all high oleic sunflower oil. At this point, if you wanna come have a look at my blender, you'll see, that looks like pudding or so. And now we're gonna thin it out. If you use it really thick like this in your coffee, then it's just um, not gonna emulsify as well. So now I'm gonna add the rest of the water and we're done. Let's add that slowly. Voila! Okay, so at this point, you have my equivalent of heavy whipping cream. But you can also add vanilla or some Lakanto Golden, it's my favorite, so that you have a sweetened vanilla creamer or just a sweetened creamer. Whatever flavoring you wanna add at this point or whatever sweetener you wanna add. I like a little bit more sweetener in my coffee than my husband, so what we do is we actually pour it into a jar like this. And then I just store it in the fridge and you can see it pretty much just looks like heavy cream. Uh, for a lot of us out there that can't do dairy, almost all the dairy-free creamers have things like canola oil in them, which is inflammatory, or they have almonds, which happen to be heavily sprayed, or they're contained in a can, like coconuts, which has um, BPA or BPS, which mimics estrogen inside there. So your homemade creamer is gonna be the lowest toxicity, the highest in fat, and the highest in nutrients with all those healthy egg yolks in there.